Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, I'm Ekwareka. Thank you so much for all your support. Today I'll be making a blouse. Two side flip blouse is a requested video. I'm going to use the pattern from the last video to make the blouse. I have African print here and the lining. When you're drafting your pattern, you can do it directly on your fabric. Remember to add one inch seam allowance because on this one I added half inch seam allowance. Add one inch seam allowance so that your lining will be half inch shorter or one inch shorter than your main fabric. So when I will use this to cut out my main fabric, so I will add more one inch or half inch to the length on the main fabric because I'm going to use this as lining, but I will use it to cut out the main fabric. This is the center front. So I'll put fabric on fold and put this on top and cut out the center front or I will open it like this and put it and cut out the center front. I will use it the way it is as lining. So this is the set um, this is the side front. This is the half length. I've added one inch seam allowance. I'll cut it on this line. I don't need this anymore. I'll cut it on this. I'll cut this off. I don't need it because I'll use peplum to replace this side. When you're drafting your pattern, remember because I have only half inch seam allowance on this pattern, your main fabric will be one inch longer than your lining. So full length of your blouse plus half of, full length of your blouse plus one inch seam allowance on your main fabric. So this pattern I use the half of my bust palm measurement to mark the dart. But because you're going to cut your dart open, I use four and half. But because you're going to cut your dart open, you will use half of your bust palm measurement plus half in seam allowance because you'll cut it open. You need seam allowance to join it. So now I'm going to use this side for the center back. But I've already cut my own. I have seam allowance on the one that I'm going to use today. So I'm going to cut this center back for the blouse. So I'm going to cut it. When you're drafting your pattern, remember to add seam allowance, half in seam allowance to your own. Half of your bust palm measurement plus half inch. So this one, I'll use it the way it is. I'll fold fabric into two and put it on top and cut the back one, my main fabric. I'll use this as line, but I've got the one that I'll use because I don't have seam allowance on this one. So this is side back. This is side back. I'll cut this off and use this one. I will use this to cut out my main fabric. Half length plus one inch seam allowance. So I don't need this again. Okay. So this is the front part of the main fabric. So this is the front part, my main fabric. I iron the este, lightweight este on the main fabric. This is center front and this is two side front. I cut out wedding for it. I will join the three together from the underbrust. I will also do the same to the lining. This is the lining for the front one. I will join the three together. This is for the back. You will mark this side to know your zip side and the dark side. This is zip side. I marked it. So I will join these two together and join these two together. So my back neckline is round neck. I will do the same on the lining. I will join these two together. These two together. This is for the front one. I've joined it together. I notch and trim off the seam allowance. This is the lining. 
I also press it. This, this is for the back. I join it together. I also press it. So what I'll do next is to put it together this way, right side, facing each other. To join the zip line with gather stitches on the zip line. So I'll do the same to the main fabric. So after that, what I'll do next is to join the front and the back together. This is for the front, right side. right side I'll pin it together and mark my bust measurement my waist measurement I'll connect it and sew on top of the line I will do the same on the main fabric. I've shaped the blouse. I did the same on the lining. I forgot to show you something. So when I joined this three together, I left space here. But when I was taking the measurement, I used pin to hold it. Because I'll join the peplum. When you will take your measurement, you use pin to hold this part. The same with the lining. What I'll do next is to remove the gather stitches to open the zip line to remove the gather stitches. What I'll do now is to sew the lining and the main fabric together. But if you want, you can cut the peplum and join. There are so many ways to sew this. You will pin the center front together. You will match this. With half in seam allowance, you join them together with half in seam allowance. You will join these two also. This is the back neckline, half in seam allowance. The other back neckline, half in seam allowance. But you will not, you will leave the zip line open. You will not sew on the zip line, you will join it from here. The same on this side. After that, the lower part of it, you will sew it together. This is the center front, half in seam allowance, one side of back, center back, one side of center back, you will sew it to zip allowance, you leave the zip allowance open. The other side of center back. You will leave the zip allowance open and join it half inch. So I want to cut out the peplum. There are so many ways you can cut it. You can measure what you have here and also on this side, add it together and cut a peplum. Use it as waist measurement to cut out the peplum. Or you can just use your waist measurement and cut the peplum out and pleat the remaining one. Or you can even add some inches to your waist measurement to cut out the peplum and then you can pleat it. So, but what I'm going to do, I'll add like four inches to my waist, four to six inches to my waist measurement. I'll add four inches. My waist measurement is 40, 40 plus four is 44. So, to get the waist radius, I will use a um, circle formula 6.28. 
to divide 44 inches. 44 divided by 6.28 is 7 inches. So, 7 inches is the waist radius that I will use to cut out the peplum. So, the length of the peplum. So, the full length of the blouse is 25 and a half inches. 25 and a half inches minus 17 inches is um, 8 and a half. Plus one inch seam allowance, half on the lower part and half to join it to the upper part, half to turn it with lining and half to join it to the upper part, to join it to this part is one inch. So one plus eight, eight one plus eight and half is nine and half. So what I'm going to call the length of the peplum will be nine and a half inches, but after so you need to be half an eight and half. So so I'm going to cut the peplum 7 inches plus 9 and half is um 16 and half. So 16 and half. I'll fold it into two. Sixteen and half, I'll fold it into two. So on this side, I will get 16 and a half. I will measure, I will measure 16 and a half on this side. I will fold it into four. Then I will mark the waist radius and the length. Well, I have more than 16 and a half. I will just fold this fabric into four. So on this folded edge, I'll mark waist radius, length of the peplum, I'll connect it. Seven inches. Seven inches. Seven inches. Nine and half. Eight and half plus one inch seam allowance. Nine and half. From up here, I'll measure sixteen and half. This is waist radius. The length nine and a half. I'm going to cut it. So this is what we have. I iron this stay to eat lightweight stay. I divided it into two. One. I also did the same on the lining. No stay on the lining. So I'm going to join the lining and the peplum together. So I'm going to sew the lining and the main fabric together. Right side facing each other. I'll join it with half inch seam allowance. After that, I'll top stitch. I'll do the same on this one. I want to cut the sleeve. This is one of the sleeves, 30 inches by 15 and half. Fifteen inches on foot. So I'm going to use the elastic on the upper part of the sleeve and lower part. So I have fifteen and a half from this point, fifteen and a half inches. From I have I have 15 and a half inches 
On this side, I have 1.25 to make casein for elastic. On the upper part, I have 1.25 to make casein for elastic. I'll fold 1.25 first. I'll fold 0 0.25 first, then I'll fold 1 inch. The length of the sleeve is 10 inches, but what I have here is 13 inches. From this line to this line is 13 inches. I added extra 3 inches to it because it's puff sleeve, so that I can pull it. The random hole is 18, 18 divided by 2 because the fabric is folded into 2, is 9 inches. So this is 9 inches plus 1 inch seam allowance, 10 inches. I have 15 inches here. I added extra 5 inches because it's puff sleeve. So now I'm going to cut the armhole. If you like, you can use this um, If you like, you can use the blouse to cut it This is the blouse I will start from this line So, I will mark it Or if you want, you can mark 4 inches on this side, 4 inches, on this side, 5 inches, 1 inch in allowance and 4 inches, which is 5 inches. This is 5 inches and this side is 4 inches. So I'll connect it. So I'm going to cut it. On this side, I will leave it the way it is. I will not cut anything. Up. On this side, I will leave it the way it is. I will only trim off this side. Oh, you can mark. 4 inches from this line, 5 inches, 4 inches plus 1 inch seam allowance, 5 inches, then you will connect it or you will use the blouse. So I will use it like this. This is the blouse. I've pleated peplum to this side of the blouse. So on this side, I'll show you how to do it. But before you sew this peplum to the blouse, you will press your peplum very well so that you know the length. You will also press your blouse so that you know the length. So now I'm going to show you how to fix this peplum to this side. going to fix this lower part to this side so I'll turn it this is wrong side of the main fabric and wrong side of the lining wrong side of the lining and wrong side of the main fabric so I'll join these two together here. I'll use pin. I'll sew it last, but I'll just use pin to pin it. So this line is the length of the blouse. The crease on this line. So the, this is the length of the peplum. So I'll join them together. This line will be on the same line with this one. So I'll do it this way. Right side of the fabric. Right side of the peplum. I'll pin it together on this line. So now I'll pin this side. I'll pin the purple one to the center front. But I'll sew it last.
I'll do the same on this side. This is center back, one side of center back, the length of the blouse. Right side, right side, I'll put it together, the length together. I'll pin it. So this side, I'll pin it also. So what I'll do now is to, this is the waistline for on the main fabric. Lining to lining, main fabric to the main fabric. So I'll pleat it. I'll get the midpoint. This is the middle. Of the middle. I'll put it on this size seam. So I'll I'll pin it here, then I'll pleat. But you pleat one on this size seam. So I'll pleat it and pin. After pleating it, I will now sew it on the blouse. Then I will turn it this side again and pleat this the midpoint and the size seam. I'll put it together. I'll pin and pleat and pleat this to the west line, also to this line. So after doing it, I'll show you. I've pleated it. I stitch it with half inch seam allowance. What I'll do next is to sew this line and this line. I'll do the same on this side. So after that, I'll turn to the line. I will repeat the same on the lining. I'll stitch the peplum to the blouse and also on the lining. But I left space here like five inches so that I'll fix my sleeve from here. I've also fixed a zip on the main fabric. I'll fix zip on the main fabric. So I'm going to fix lining on the zip. So I'm going to turn it this way. And sew it to the zip. I'll do the same on this side. To sew lining to the zip and the main fabric. This way. And sew it to up here. So after that, I'll close this side and cut this off. I'll do the same on this side. So after fixing lining to the zip and main fabric, I'll fix the sleeve. So after fixing the sleeve, I will now use needle and thread to sew this part, invisible stitches, to close this part. This is puff sleeve. You can make yours bigger or smaller. So, on the upper part here, on my normal off shoulders blouse, I use 5 inches on fold. So, elastic that I will use will be 4.5 inches on fold, which is 9 inches. So, I folded quarter of an inch in and 1 inch. My elastic is 0.75. So, I'll pass the elastic. So, this is the elastic. I stitch it on this side and also on this side. On the lower part, this side I use French seam to tidy up this side. On the lower part, I'll fold in quarter of an inch, then one inch. Then the elastic that I will use on the lower part here, my round sleeve is 14 inches, but I will use 13 inches elastic on this side. 
So I'm going to fix the sleeve. This is right side of the sleeve, right side of the fabric, size seam. I'll pin it together here and stitch it. So after that, I'll use lining to turn it. I'll do the same on this side. But the last sleeve, after I will fix the last sleeve from here. Or if you want, you can just fix your sleeve. Size seam. You fix your sleeve together with the lining. After that, you use bias to tidy up the rough edge. So on the lower part of the sleeve here, I will leave a space like one inch to pass the elastic. So I will do it and show you. This sleeve to the blouse. What I will do next is to fix lining to the sleeve. Same. I have fixed lining to the sleeve. So the only way to bring it out is from the waistline, the space that I left here. So this side, I'll pleat it, I'll fold it in. I'll use needle and thread to sew it. So after that, I'll give it a good press. So this is the sleeve. You can wear it as shoulder blouse, you can wear it as off shoulder blouse. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.